but neither the same as the way you go in the But after he died, these two guys, African guys who sent you, they used to work with him on his exploration all around Africa. So after he died, these two guys, they carry his body to Bagamoyo in Tanzania, where his body has been kept at Bagamoyo area for three months. And after that, after three months, his body has been brought in Zanzibar in the British Consulate for more three days. And after that, his body has been transferred straight to England and buried in the Westminster Church Abbey. So now I'll leave you free to this site where we can go over there and then we can find our way out over there. And so hopefully everybody can just get a good 10 minute feel and then we are uh, we'll close out and do our walking tour. And then I'll be right there. I'll be out there with you. Yes, so this is, as you see family, the presentations are labeled. Uh, so this is a big presentation. So take your time, walk through it. I mean, as usual, if you want a full scope of the presentation, what we recommend that you do is uh, join the presentation, come to the country, check it out. But you know, one thing we can share with you is highlights. And this is a well-organized presentation. So that's why you can't be shedding certain tattooed tears for certain people, family. Yeah. We've been a victim of this about everybody else. So I'm always painful to see this presentation, family. It's, uh, it's only for educational purpose. It's not to make you depressed. And it's not to push us this stuck on you know, a slavery with then we have to educate our generation, especially our youth, and let them know, you know, we as a people, in order for this never to happen again, we as a people have to do what we need to do as far as building a strong energy of where we as a people protect ourselves, work together, and empower ourselves. Okay. Family, got the classic Africa for the Africans uh, t shirt on. And explain after explain off the beaten path. We mean we don't always have to go to synagogue or Ghana to learn about the trade. That's quote unquote popular yes. and trendy. This off the beaten path is different, unique, organic. And so we want some of them that are in the mixture of us learning who we are and learning about our family. Um, so to bring us to East Africa and learn, because we know about the West, right. but we need to know about what happened in East Africa as well. So this is a great opportunity for us. I appreciate it. The goal is always to put some form of uh, our struggle on every trip that we do, whether we're in South Africa uh, you know, and so on. And um, yeah, so this would be the presentation. And I'm always telling everyone that it's only one day or a portion of a day. You know, we don't have a whole trip dealing with it. So this, you know, let's share the information. Yeah, it's fun yeah. and information. I mean, it goes hand in hand. This was great. This was enlightening.
So there you go, family. Enlightening, empowerment, and this is the beginning of the entrance where we first started at. And then, if you want to do the presentation in order versus what we showed you, you can start at this point and work your way around. But since we're by the underground dungeons, uh, we just continue from the end and worked our way to the beginning. Yes, Sister Paula, always open for some powerful knowledge. And so family, this is the exhibition details. The East African Slave Trade Exhibit and Conservation of Christ Church Cathedral was made possible with generous support of, and I um, won't read the rest of the information, but this is the date, May 2016. The family struggle and the journey continues.